So the next coupler I'm gonna show you guys today is the 7,000 pound Bulldog coupler. This one you see on horse trailers, flatbed trailers, and even RV trailers. The one thing to keep in mind when installing our plate with this particular coupler is this sleeve that you see right here. So when installing the plate, you have to make sure the plate is, or the lip of the plate is on the side. That way it clears this little sleeve that you see right here. So when you have it in, if it's for some reason over your sleeve, when you tighten the collar on our base down, you will not have a flush surface. So it's very important to have the plate sideways when installing it on the Bulldog Clupper to get a much flush, tight fitting. So when installing your plate with the two inch ball on the Bulldog Coupler, you have to lock it down, bring your sleeve forward. Now that your sleeve is forward, you have to turn the plate sideways, lift it up to where you've got it in the position that you want it. Make sure it is clear of the sleeve on the coupler. Hand tighten all the way up. Once you go hand tight, I give it a little bit of a wiggle to create any space that might be in there out and then tighten it a little bit more with your hand. Once you've got it hand tight, then you can go ahead and use your spanner wrench. Give it a couple extra turns in it. Again, if you do have a rubber mallet, give it an extra whack, get that quarter turn out of it, it goes a long way. But if you've done it correctly, your plate will not be on top of the sleeve of your coupler and you will have a much flush surface on the Bulldog coupler, which will prevent the rocking on your coupler. If it does start to rock, it will slowly get loose and you'll have trouble with your dolly coming out of the uh, trailer.